What's up, YouTube? Brian here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where in every episode I'm always contending for the faith once for all delivered to the saints. And today we're going back to basics, incense, psalms, and our good friends over at Legacy Icons. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. Thank you so much for bearing with me while I had some literal computer issues that hopefully I have temporarily resolved until I can get to a place where I can buy a new laptop, improvise, adapt, and overcome, right? So, uh, if any of you recall, any of you have watched this channel before, uh, you'll know that I've talked about incense before. You'll know that many of the icons and candles and even, heck, the incense that I have in my house all comes from legacy icons. And they were even kind enough once, having stumbled across my channel to send me a care package with all sorts of beautiful things, icons for my children, a hand-painted icon of the Theotokos and the Christ Child. Uh, eternally grateful to Legacy Icons for that. Um, if you're new to the channel, odds are it was actually my incense video that brought you here. Uh, it is my most popular video. It's up to almost 20,000 views. Incense is this incredible tradition of the church that even predates the Christian church. And I'm, I'm going back to my friends over at Legacy Icons because they've come up with something really incredible. Uh, let's see if I can do this here while looking at the camera and reaching for something. Many of you might recall that I have purchased their smokeless incense burner. Now, I, in my demonstration video on incense, and I suggest you go watch it, although it was hot and summer and my hair was stupid and I was about 15 pounds heavier, but still go watch it. But one of the things I didn't like about burning incense was the smell of the charcoal. Legacy Icons has me covered, and I did a full review on this smokeless incense burner. You should definitely go back and watch that. Now, one of the things that I noticed about it is this beautiful wooden handle. It's a little uh, when it comes to tightening it. And so Legacy Icons has come up with a new brass handle that seals and holds much better. But they've done one more than that. They have brought the purpose of incense from a tradition of men into a full-blown focus on why Christians today still burn incense. And for that reason, we're going to... I got it right here. I'm torturing myself. I haven't opened it yet, this package from Legacy Icons. I got it right there. We're going to open it and we're going to talk about it. But to preface this, uh, we're Christians, right? So we should go to the Word. And so we're going to go to Psalm 141, which is penned by David, probably... Uh, when he wasn't in Jerusalem, when he did that whole debacle with his son and couldn't worship in the temple and couldn't participate in the sacrifices of the temple. So we turn to Psalm 141, a psalm of David. O Lord, I call upon you, hasten to me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer be counted as incense before you. The lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice. Verses 1 and 2. Now, this is a beautiful psalm about the plans of the wicked, about the justness of God, and actually about faithful people being rebuked by faithful people. So it talks about the office of the holy ministry, a means by which God sends men into our lives to rebuke us for our sin, and not to judge us, but to call us to repentance. And this burning of incense that David cannot do at this time. Let my prayer rise before you, O Lord, as incense. The lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. And of course, it was Christ's sacrifice near evening when his hands were lifted up. That is the ultimate sacrifice that pleases God and calms his wrath and brings forgiveness of sins. Because Christ was rebuked for our wretchedness and counts towards us his own righteousness. It's incredible. So that being the guiding principle of Psalm 141. Also, I would recommend Revelation chapter 8. With the angel before the altar of the Lord with a golden censer filled with incense. And the prayers of the saints rising to God with that incense. Incense is not necessary for prayer. But my goodness, biblically speaking, it is a powerful picture of what is happening while we are in prayer. More than a picture, more than a visual, it's sensory. You can smell it, this pleasing aroma 
of the incense, the sacrifice of God, that broken and contrite heart, that sacrifice of Christ that is pleasing to God, that calms his wrath and brings his peace. So why, Ryan, why did you go to Psalm 141? Well, let's open up our package from Legacy Icons and we will talk all about it. So excuse me, I'm going to reach here, get my knife, get my package. I'm done torturing myself. Let's get this open. Look, look, look. I'm cutting away from myself this time. Ha ha. Oh! Trick or treat! <laughs> oh, look at that. Tootsie Rolls. Oh, thank you, Legacy Icons. Trick or treat to you. I'd say Happy Reformation Day, but... Uh, you're Eastern Orthodox. All right, so... Obviously, the smokeless incense burner works best with beeswax candles. That's because, let's get the incense burner. This little piece right here, um, it, the, the paraffin candles will char the heck out of this. And, you know, I try to keep this clean, uh, as clean as I can. But the beeswax candles burn hot, burn natural, burn bright. And uh, that being the case, whoop, more Tootsie Rolls. Oh, look at that. Look at Aw. A blessed All Hallows Eve to you. There we go. That's how we can say it. So, this is why I ordered from Legacy Icons again, even though I already have their smokeless incense burner. And though I would like that brass handle that I was telling you about, um, it works just fine with the wooden one. It wasn't a need. This isn't even a need. This is a pure want. But I love that they did this because they brought the focus of burning incense just from a tradition to there's a reason there's a perp there's a, something to be taught there's a confession of what is happening to be made uh, by burning incense so you can see here i've just got a new piece that's all and it comes with the brass uh, instead of the wood so that's cool and what's great is anyone who has the smokeless incense burner um, receives this uh, with free shipping so that's really neat uh, not only are they offering quality products whenever they have the opportunity to increase um, the quality of their products they do Ooh, look at the, look at a comparison here look at this look at it. nifty all right so I ordered a new one of these why because this is engraved let my prayer arise in thy sight as incense the lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice I don't know if you can see this look oh that's really blurry well, we'll get some still shots of it because that's pretty blurry. You can see me looking over at the screen. <laughs> Awkward. All right, so this this beautiful piece here with the engraving of Psalm 141 verse 2 in it. So that you're not just burning incense because, but you're burning incense as a visual and a, a sensory reminder that this is your prayers are a precious and wonderful, pleasing aroma to God. So let's get this replaced, and let's get it lit up and see how it goes. Through the magic of editing, there we go. So if I turn it this way, you can sort of see the beautiful engraving. That my prayer arise before you as incense. So we're going to get this separated. Ooh, that's heavy. That's weighty. It's good quality like that going to remove this one and see all you do slide it up or down so we're going to remove this one i'm going to keep this safely in storage Woo, look at that so yeah there's definitely a weight difference Woo a weight difference um so definitely an improvement on the quality there so we put that back together well let's candle in this phenomenal beeswax candle oopsies user error there we go oh, that's weighty i like that that's gonna hold well There we go. Look at how beautiful that is. Now, what incense burner would not be complete without this amazing desert gold frankincense provided to me as a free gift from Legacy Icons. 
frankincense being uh, presented to the child Christ by the Magi. And if it's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for the church. I'm being irreverent this time. I'm just using a lighter. Oopsies. Let's get this lit. There we go. And that's it. Look at that. This beautiful, beautiful, smokeless incense burner from Legacy Icons that eliminates my desire, or uh, eliminates the um, charcoal smell that is inherent with burning incense. And from my perspective here, I can really see the incense just doing an incredible job bubbling away, which is what I love about Legacy Icons incense is, uh, especially their resin incense, it just bubbles and keeps going and, and just burns ever so slowly completely away. And there we can see the incense starting to rise. It's a slow reaction incense. Uh, it, it's all natural. Uh, it's from uh, Africa, harvested. It's a 100% natural product, the best quality. You're not going to find anything better than this um, on Amazon or, heaven forbid, you should buy your incense from eBay. Oh, that smells so good. Uh, let me see if I can get some shots here of, of how the incense is going. Let me grab another camera here, see if I can get some shots of what's going on here. So here you can see the incense burning and how it's burning clean and it's not turning to tar. This is burning clean away. And then of course you have the beautiful engraving, the glow of the candle to remind us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness shall overcome. This beautiful Wonderful, delightful reminder that my prayer arise before you, O Lord, as incense. And there you have it. That's why I bought that from Legacy Icons. First of all, it's cool. Secondly, it's quality. And thirdly, it makes the good confession. And that, if nothing else, is what being Lutheran is. It is making that good confession. This is not just burning incense for the sake of burning incense. This is a teaching tool, especially with my young ones, my boys, a teachable moment. Do you want to know what it looks like when you pray to God? It looks like this. Let my prayer arise before you, O Lord, as incense. There is posture to prayer that teaches them folding hands or in ancient days, the lifting up of hands, especially the lifting up of hands, which reminds us of the ultimate lifting up of Christ's hands to plead for us. But teaching my boys to fold their hands, to bow their heads, to close their eyes, that this sets prayer apart from any other conversation. It is the creation in humility and confidence speaking to the Creator, making its requests known to its God. And what a beautiful representation incense is as to what prayer is. So good, good job, Legacy Icons. I cannot praise you enough for the quality of craftsmanship. And there's so much more on your site that I see that you've come up with that I really, really want. But, you know, <laughs> thank you so much for bearing with my time away. I did not want to be away that long, but what? When you don't have a computer, what are you going to do? Thank you so much for tuning in to 15 and 17 Films. If you like what you see here, definitely subscribe. Uh, meet me down in the comment section. Let's talk about incense. And let's talk about your favorite part of the liturgy. Because liturgy is going to be a big part of what's coming up in the future. As a matter of fact, here's a teaser. Until next time, may God richly bless you. In the grace and mercy won for you by Jesus' vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins. Please stand.
Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. 